Today I'm going to share with you 10 resources that I created that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else that can make your Power BI report look better in under 10 seconds. So are you tired of me saying the word 10? Let's jump into the computer and let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Power BI. And while I'm opening up Power BI, I'm going to tell you about the number one thing that you can do to make your Power BI reports look more professional. And that is adding white space. So when you're adding white space into Microsoft Power BI, the easiest way to do it, if you're just using Power BI, is to do it with shapes. So you can use um, shadowing and borders um, to create shapes. The other way that you can do it is you can use Figma and you can create uh, a Power BI background that you can then place your visuals on top. Uh, typically when people do this, they like to have them really stylized, but lately I've been really trending towards a white box with, for my visuals to sit on top and then just a really light gray background. So what I did and what I created for you guys was 10 different layouts that you can take and you can just set as the background of your slide. So let's click through them and let's see what they are. So our first background is a multi-layered approach. Our second background is a multi-layered approach with then kind of two call-out visuals. Our third is kind of the side with then you could have a, a filter bar and a main visual right here. Our fourth is kind of similar with the bar and then you could have layout right here. Um, here we go again, one more kind of big one. Um, here we're starting to do some fun splits, right? So we have background five where it's big and then background six where it's split. And then here we are, we have background seven doing some more splitting. Eight, again, you know, you kind of have the three tall graphs, a little call out graph here that could be filters and then more drop downs. Uh, here's the squares. And then here is the one I started with. So these are 10 backgrounds that I created in Figma that you can use and you can download. And if you hold on just a second so I can show you how I created them, I'll tell you where the download link is at the end. All right, so first things first, I use Figma. What is Figma? Figma is a free design tool. Um, it's If you Google it, you can use it. Uh, I haven't had any formal training on it. I was able to pick it up pretty quickly. But let me show you now how I made these boxes in Figma. Okay, so in order to create these, we need to create kind of our base box. Uh, Power BI really likes a width of 3,840 pics by 2160. You can go smaller, but this is probably the optimal resolution. Uh, I then essentially create a bunch of really small boxes and I use 70 pics. So this white space all the way around is completely evenly spaced at 70, sorry, 72 pics. Um, so the way I created these boxes and ensure that they're equally spaced is I look at the main uh, width, right? So let's just say the width is 3,084. I look at the width of my shape, right? So um, 1184, and I look at where it is in the x-axis, and I actually just do the math. Um, this can be pretty time-consuming, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but once you go through and you do it, what you can then get at is you can then get to these really cool layouts, right? And so you can then use these layouts to build uh, Power BI wireframes. And I like to go with this really white pale look, so it's very subtle. Uh, I have a little bit of a drop shadow under all these boxes, but, um, you know, if you went through and you designed something similar, you could, for example, make this be like just a little darker, right? Um, and that would also look really good, really subtle, right? So if you had a company theme or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to link uh, all of these for you. Now I'm going to show you how to set them as the background. So here I am in Power BI. I've got nothing selected in order to set an image as the background. I'm going to select this formatting tab. I'm then going to go canvas background, close out here, right? So here's what it looks like without the background. As you can see, not very pretty. I'm then going to go browse, go into my downloads. Uh, let's see, this is background 10. So I'll go background 10 and I'll switch this from normal to fit. And just like that, there is our background. Now, this isn't going to make your Power BI report be unbelievable, but it's an easy tip 
that you can take and you can implement in under 10 seconds. So I told you I would tell you where you could download the backgrounds that I create for free. Surprise, they're gonna be linked in my GitHub down in the video description. If you want me to continue making stuff like this, and if you thought this was a good video, please consider subscribing and liking. It really helps keep me motivated. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about me, why don't you consider checking out my LinkedIn, which is also linked down in the video description. I hope you had fun and maybe learned something or got inspired today. Uh, and thanks for watching.